Hello? Copy? Copy? Hello, everybody. Welcome to Bass and Bonsai. These rods were in some action this week, past weekend, and now, lo and behold, our last medium light rod showed up today, DMX, and our chatterbaits. You guys remember, right, our AliExpress chatterbaits we've been using, tearing them up with already? we got more. Okay, so let's save the rod for last. I know everybody's waiting to see that $38 DMX rod, right? But the downside, that it may not be any kind of issue, that is a three-piece rod. I didn't think I really liked two-piece rods until uh, I started fishing them, the newer style anyway, and I have no issues with two-piece rods. But will I have issue with uh, three-piece? Possibly. But let's get to what... I gotta get this trash picked up on my maid quit. Okay. Okay, hang on. I'm gonna get them. I'm gonna get them. These are the Jackie Hamalls. Okay, let's get this trash out of the way. These, and you I've already had the one and uh, but I picked up another one. Now I think these, the Jackie Hammer Hammer you can get in 10 grams. That's why I got these, but I, I got, oh, I got a few different colors, right? Kind of a sprayed grassy thing. And then I actually got this one. I might try that uh, skirt, but I'm probably gonna pop that off and that's gonna be my uh, black and blue with the gold blade bait, right? And I've got more uh, in my cart ready to head this way if I like them. So, you guys have already seen how well these baits do work, and they're only, uh, I think all of these are the smaller ones. And I'm hoping I can tell by looking at them. If not, I'm going to have to take time and mark all of these by some kind of, not just a Sharpie, but maybe a colored a gold Sharpie or something, and put the uh, weights on them or some way that I know, you know, the ones that are 10, the ones that are... 14 and the ones that are 18 they they come in three different sizes uh, if you order through the two different sites that I've shared before The uh, this color I Think because you can get them a touch cheaper on one place But then the other one where they actually come in a 10 gram or 14 I think but not 18 then these come 14 and then 18 same bait like once you look at them I'll pull one out here to look at let's look at this colored one Actually, no, let's look at this one right here. Because I could do the same thing with either of these and then just paint the heads black, but I think this one already comes dark enough. So if I want to try to imitate like the, uh, oh shoot, like a bluegill color, I'd probably use this and then a different color skirt. But if I want to do, and they don't have a black one with the gold blade, but that dark brown's the closest. And it probably wouldn't matter, but I'll probably take a Sharpie and just make it black. Because the top is almost black and it's a little brown at the bottom. Probably would make no difference. You know, just cut that off because it is tied on. And if you want to keep that, remember the thing about gluing them, you're going to want to glue these because I have had the first the original one I bought this color. Skirt did fall off. Bait was still fine. You just slap another skirt on it. No big deal. The skirt do fit a little loose on a depending on what kind you use if you use the like the perfect plastic ones or whatever if you use the standard ones that have the, like the rubber band material those go, seem to go on fine and stay but the other ones it fits a little loose but if you like me and you run soft plastic pushed up there it all stays fine the only issue i could see if you have uh, some of them did fit loose you may have to actually glue the skirt on just to help keep it in place but they come and they work fine like this. And if you want to keep, I've had any issues with any of these. You guys see me using them. I put a, these when they came in. I just put a drop of super glue right in there and they're fine. So these are a welcome find. That color, I'm looking at it going, no. I'm not a fan of that color, but as I'm finding out, sometimes you just got to try a color. Give it a, give it a good try at different places. Because not every place likes the same color chatterbait. I've definitely found that out. If I had to pick a color that works almost wherever, it would just be a good old black and blue one. 
But sometimes they just want it all white, chatterbait or spinnerbait. You guys know the deal. But then there's finicky times, like we found this weekend, that uh, one with the real uh, bright green bottom is just what was working. So anyway, we got our chatterbaits. I don't even know how many I got now. If you guys remember right, I went through my box. I'm trying to do away with all the bigger hooks. That's the biggest hook I want so I can get with these smaller. Actually do all my chatterbaiting with a medium light rod or even a light. But I still have the 13 fishing rod and I'm getting ready to put uh, cut these off and put cork handles. If you guys don't know that whole deal. I'm getting ready to switch these out. And because the reason I have to keep this, I really wouldn't have to. Like the way I'm going with my chatterbaits and you know my even my three quarter ounce rattle traps, that medium light can cast it, but half ounce is where that's like what I consider the sweet spot for all these medium lights I'm coming across. The quick lure star rod, the uh until I up until the time I broke it, the uh Karza 2 was like just perfect. You can cast about as hard as you want to a half ounce bait and that little extra give of a medium light just makes the fishing more fun than like this 13 fishing rated as a medium is more like a medium heavy and it's i don't like it plus i think there's a chance you know of pulling out the on a smaller treble hook bait on this rod what i would feel so anyway i'm going to keep this one because i throw a frog and a half ounce, the, even the best one I've found anyway so far, I haven't tried them all, but the ones I've tried, the Booyah Popping Pad Crasher or just a Pad Crasher, I find with the best hookup ratios with rods about like what this one is. I consider this more like a, just on the edge, it's a medium heavy, but it's kind of, it's not as stout as some medium heavies, but it's way stouter than most mediums you'll come across. That 13 Fishing Envy Black. But it makes for an awesome Z-Man, uh, yeah, the Z-Man original chatterbait, those big jig hooks, the frogs, stuff like that. That's when I use something that big, and I have to keep this or one in my arsenal because if I want to frog fish, which I, I love frog fishing when the bite is going for a frog, and it's real gunky, but I'm kind of getting away from that even with going with the, you guys know the whole deal with the zinkers on a, just a, like a four-aught hook, you know, weightless basically, and an old worn out zinkers almost floats that hook, and you can you can work it right across the nasty stuff just like you would a frog, and it's a little less of a hook set needed. But if you're dealing with the four out, that's still probably the rod to go with. But I think the medium lights would still stick those if they're you know a fairly new hook. Anyway, let's get to the main show, right? Now I gotta get this wrapped up. I may come back later with the live. I'm not for sure actually testing this, but I'm actually I got off work kind of early, but you know me. I'm going, i got to go to the gym. I'm trying to go every day and just work out certain, if you guys don't know anything about how to like, you know, lift weights, working out certain muscle groups, just, you like go every day, but only for like maybe an hour. You could probably even cut it down to a half hour, you know, shorten the time, but go every day and work out a different body part, but really, you know, destroy it to where it's going to build muscle, right? But I'm not eating enough to get that done right, so I'm not going in all detail. You guys know how to lift weights, right? Sure you do. You just pick it up and lift it. It's simple. As easy as it sounds. Whoa. All right, there it is. Street bass, baby. Now we're legit. We're street. All right, what's going to do? Here we go. DMX. I keep wanting to sing songs every time I see that. You guys know DMX, right? You guys aren't that old that you don't remember DMX. Or that young. Oh my gosh. I didn't, yeah, I was going to say I didn't think it was tied in or not. Okay, so what we have here, they've tied this totally wrong. But oh well. And you'd expect $38. It's a pretty cheap fill. I mean, it gets the job done, but it's pretty cheap filling compared to a lot of those we've been getting in. And it's got three different sections, so let's just get to the tip, make sure it's not broke. The other pieces shouldn't be if the tip isn't broke. And the tip looks fine. And honestly, as soon as I pulled it out, the tip material, I'll probably snap it, but it almost feels and looks very close. It just has a feeling of like what the uh, Carza 2 did. 
just right off the first initial thoughts as I was pulling it out. The Cards of Two's got like a coating on it, but the blank material feels similar to that. So let's see. This this could be a oh you gotta be kidding me. Oh no way, it's like a funky three piece. I thought this thing was broke. I thought that was broke. There's one end and there's the other. I was like, man, that thing broke in shipping, but it's just what it is. It's a little piece of a piece to make it three piece. I wonder if it would go together as two piece. Uh, probably not. That would be kind of cool. If they just made one which they should. Oh wow. Hang on, this looks cool. This real seat looks very nice. Way, way better looking than what you would expect for a $38 rod. That looks like $250 rod. It just looks awesome. That is very nice felt, of course. It's all of them are way shorter. I got a big hand. I mean, I'm not, it's not a huge hand, but everything I grab that split grip, it's like you forgot some. That's one good thing I liked about the NRX rods. You get your whole hand on the handle. Of course, they're a $500 rod. So let's just slide this together, get a feel. I don't have, I don't see any marks, and it's going to be hard to like, Guy line that piece up, you almost have to probably put a reel on it first and then get it straight as you, you know, eyeball it with the reel. So I'm not going to push it on all the way. I just got a little snug. Okay, I won't be able to really show you guys, but. Alright, that feels like a. As you'd probably expect, being three-piece, it feels almost like it'd be better for jigs and stuff. But we'll try it for everything. But it definitely has a little bit heavier feel than uh, what you'd expect. But I'll be very honest with you right now. If I can make myself like that grip right there, the, as cool as that looks, I could always uh, basically just, for $38... It'd be hard to find those pieces to make your own assembly and you can uh this is a big enough you could actually take a whole other one and stick inside this if you wanted to if you like that i don't know if i like how long that is it kind of goes into a soft touch right here so it's painted just like that looks real cool kind of a very dark uh, green with like a gold goldish greenish fleck in it and then it goes into this uh almost a brown looking gold this actually soft touch, high touch double hull is what they call it, but it's kind of soft touch so when you grab it, it's not slippery. You can get a, use it just like you would, to, you know, the handle. And I guess that's supposed to be the more sensitive one, but being a three piece rod, I can't imagine it's too sensitive. But we will try it. Let me count the eyes for you guys that are curious. So the one piece, the, the main one, there's no eyes on it. It goes all the way up. And then to this little midsection, there's two eyes. Then you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, counting the tip. So you guys can add, right? Seven plus two, nine eyes on a, no, let me flip it this way and show you the specs. So I can't recommend it right now. I mean, if somebody really wants the link, I could share it, but I plan on using it first. And then if I really like this rod, I will be sharing, you know, where to get it at. Five to 21 grams that yeah I don't know if I'd throw a 21 gram bait on this thing I don't know we'll probably put it through its paces not that expensive not a big loss right if I end up snapping it I can always use a handle like I mentioned for another rod or something but I'd say right off the bat it's it's more like a, uh, a just a good medium uh, it's probably nowhere near as sensitive or as crisp but it it kind of has that feeling like my 802, somewhere between 802 and 803, it's got a fairly quick tip section. I'll try to show you that. So here, can you see the tip? So the first like three eyes, when it goes into the fourth one, it actually starts getting backbone already. So it's definitely not as flexy. And this is a medium light, it's supposed to be a medium light. So let's get the... 
I'll just try to show you the quick medium light where it flexes. And that I will tell you right now that the quick rod is a way lighter in hand filling rod. So yeah, there the if you are just wanting something cheap to get you going, this is probably an awesome rod, but if you're wanting something what sucks though is man it I like the real seat better than I do on the on some of these other rods I have, but so yeah, see how this and it's way down here from like the fifth, almost the sixth guide. Like it's just got a it feels maybe a touch stiffer, but then this goes then this gets into backbone quicker. It's kinda like the cars though. But I, I do like these uh these lure star rods. I like that flex. It's got like a not really I call it not quite even a fast, like maybe a fast, but on the lower end of fast, definitely not an extra fast. And then I would call like the cars are too light, and then like this rod, and like my uh, the NRX uh, jig warm rods were more like an extra fast, definitely a, a fast, fast or an extra fast. But we're gonna get it out, we're gonna try it. I don't have my scale up working at the moment, I gotta go buy some batteries. But I think it shows you in the things when I if if I like it and I share the link or if somebody really wants the link right now I'll pop it on there. Let's see. I know well maybe not. It's one of those memes like uh nobody and then me. Let's see what the uh Joker looks like on it. Joker, the green is too light for on the Joker for this rod. I mean, it goes together okay, but that's like two completely different colors of green. Joker, you're too bright for this rod. You're so bright, I gotta wear shades. Right? Did that movie come out around Top Gun Maverick? The first Top Gun? Yeah, see the green? Not really a good, uh, real great color matchup but to try this rod out and as stout as it feels like it's gonna be I'll probably put this sucker on it well maybe oh yeah that baby feels right at home there actually it doesn't it feels like it needs to be moved up more Like when I put my finger on the trigger, I feel like my thumb's way up there. Like I gotta grab back even further on the handle that I don't want to because it's already short. Let me see if something else feels better on there. Let me just see what this did feel like. I know you guys if you guys know the channel, you know me. I'm kind of picky when it comes to actually that feels better on there. Lingle does feel better on there. Who knows, maybe I finally found a rod that looks so horrible on, but maybe I like the way it feels. Mm, not really, but actually it doesn't feel bad. I love the way that looks so far. I do not like the way anything feels with it. Let's just try another one. It's like it, uh, it's like that and the Yeah, of course, Aldebarans, they feel good on everything, right? An Aldebaran almost feels good on everything. Colors are totally wrong, but Aldebaran 50 would be an okay uh, matchup for this. It's a lot of money, 300 and whatever, $300 reel or 250 whatever they are now, if you can still get them, the Aldebaran 50s. The old ones on a $38 rod, but it actually feels pretty good. Doesn't feel bad. I don't have any other reels loose right at the moment. Oh, I do have this one. Old school alphas. Old school alphas. 
I'll be honest, I haven't found anything I like the way it feels on this yet. But we're going to get something on it and try it out. See what we think of it and if we want to recommend it to you guys or not. Right now, I'm still recommending all the Lure Star rods because I like how light and crisp. Even this, uh, this one, what's well, funny, this feels heavy to all my other BFS stuff. But it's, you know, 682 medium light. It, you can't expect it to be too light even though it has light in its name it is a very capable awesome rod so far and if we haven't caught a monster on it but the feeling rod we just caught if you guys haven't watched that uh, top gun maverick one or the day i just caught a bunch this was the first reel that caught a big or first rod that caught a big one we had the joker on it cast in uh, not one of these but basically the same thing a chatterbait with that green on bottom and we caught that first big bass and it was like you know and i really didn't even make a big talk about it that in fact it was a light rod because this rod even though it's a light rating and stuff i've mentioned it before it's it's almost so capable that it it uh, makes you not realize that you first of all got a two-piece rod and that you've got a light rod it, it's more like a uh power wise once you hook a fish it does have more of a medium to you know feel like it it definitely can handle some fish that's why i recommend these rods that medium light is even more and i do plan on buying the medium and i found the name of it. it's called sharp i've i've had the name forever but i it finally stuck in my head so you got the feeling the sharp or the the feeling the quick the sharp and the powerful the powerful for whatever reason they didn't make six foot eight they made it seven foot three so i still may get that one and it may be eventually replace this if i can shorten the handle up it's about how short this handle is and it still is under seven foot i may do something like that i'm trying to figure out the measurements by looking at it off the internet on what size right wise it is anyway 22 minute video i gotta get ready and go i may uh if not tonight, maybe tomorrow night, I'll try to do a live. I'm going to try to, I don't know, if I, if I get time today, I, I should have time, really. Get back, uh, slap a, we got to take this off, though. Oh, I, I can't even stand it right now. I, can, I will be thinking, if I don't take this off right now and fill it, I won't be able to, I won't be able to concentrate while I'm at the gym. I'll have this on my mind. Let me see. And sometimes these can be the hardest things in the world to peel off, too. You'll go in there and you'll scratch up some of the cork just getting that off. You gotta be careful. Trust me, I've done it. Oh yeah, that's better. Wow, way better. Everything's gonna feel awesome on it now. It's cork. Is there anything that feels better in your hands that cork than cork? Hmm? Comment below. Keep it clean. Alright. Anyway, I think that's fake cork. I would almost swear to it that everything you buy off AliExpress is fake. But it feels so real. But if you look in there, see that, how it's lighter? None of my true cork handles will you see a lighter thing down deeper. As it goes in, inside the holes, it's only going to get darker on a true cork. And now you can almost see, I think, yeah, if you look, you can almost see a line where they probably, I don't know how they get that cork that thin, because I think it's real cork wrapped around foam. Because I'm, as I'm feeling this, yeah, it, it's a little softer than you would think cork would be. Which actually makes it feel very good. I don't know how long they'll last yet. Most all of them still work pretty good and they have lasted me. But, you know, you can't expect much. $38 rod, as awesome as that does look. And it feels good. A lot of you guys don't mind that because, you know, you're like, oh, I'm just casting. And once you start reeling, you know, once you, however you transfer the rod or if you cast with one hand, a lot of guys are already choked up a little bit. Yeah, so before we get out of here for 30 minutes, that's the main reason. People, people keep, I don't understand why you cast with your right and switch hands and all that. And I keep saying it, I have to cast like this. And if you guys have seen me after a while, I have to get my handles just right. I have to have this good feeling and cast with my trigger finger on the trigger and that's how I cast. I palm totally different. So if I did cast with my right and reel with my left, I would still have to cast 
choke up, what I call choke up like you do on a bat, choke up on the rod to palm it the way I do. And I've watched, I believe, Hobie One Kenobi's what the guy I've watched that do, he does that. He'll cast, and if you watch him, he just and sometimes it, it looks like he's holding a handle and he, he uses the handle on the reel to kind of hold the setup as he chokes up on it. And then some guys will just cast, you know, like that. But I feel you can't get a I mean, once you get used to anything, you can do it, but what I've gotten used to over the years started out with an old Zebco 33. Cast it, switch hands, and I used to palm back further. I used to palm everything like that. And I just over the years, I found that it makes the combos feel more balanced. And I have more, what I, in my mind, control of what's going on when I'm choked all the way to that one. And yes, I've tried to go all the, all the that's too far. You don't go full choke. Don't go full choke. I'm just telling you guys, you go right to there. Or here don't go here go here or here but anyway what you guys do whatever is comfortable to you I have uh, I had an injury years back and I, when I did switch and I can tell you I can date it to exact date if you look up whenever the Skeet Reese uh, Revo came out that yellow and black Revo came out I bought it like right when it come out and I bought a uh, left hand retrieve because I knew what I was gonna do I was hurt and I wanted to fish I was like I'm gonna try that reel out ordered it in left hand uh, I don't remember the rod I was using on it but I went out and uh, for like a month I think I fished I missed more hook sets more I just was I I could get I kind of felt I had the hang of it I mean I was still casting like I normally would but then I would just put my hand over and some about my right hand uh, setting the hook it just threw me completely off I think once you get used to that uh, you know, muscle memory stuff on how you're working stuff. I just, I don't know. So anyway, yeah. Now you guys got a little uh, history there on that stuff. But look forward to me testing this one out. Uh, I was going to put a video together. I still don't know. Here's the issue. When I'm trying to do a video showing you guys how I'm doing stuff and cutting these down, and it never seems to come out <laughs> right, if that makes sense. It's kind of like when you're working at a place and you don't want your boss looking over your shoulder because you're going to mess up kind of deal I'm better off to just do it so what I'll probably do I won't do it live because I don't want to feel rushed I may go ahead and get the GoPro out and one of these I may set down and show you but I'll tell you real quick what I'm gonna do all I've already done now is I've took the butt off of these and shortened them just to see how they felt like that make sure that's where I want them you know do I want to go shorter do I want to go longer once I put this full handle on so I think I got them right where I want them if you can tell this one's a little bit shorter because I want uh, this is, I'm going to also try to use it as a jerkbait rod. But I may go ahead and shorten, and this one is the exact length of the uh, Tatula rod from the trigger to the butt. Because the Tatula handle is actually longer, but the, uh, it's because the cork goes all the way up closer to the trigger. But I actually like that. I like that about the Tatula when I cut it down because it's changed. So this one's a little bit, uh, well, I think... A little bit shorter maybe not maybe I made these exactly the same I think one's a little shorter than the other yeah this one's still a touch shorter so I may go ahead and make them the exact same length back here at the butt but it didn't really matter that's very close it's barely off but all I'm going to do with this wood is what I found out and I had to experiment it on the uh, butt section of the other ones were wood if you remember right that wood unfortunately for me Good for you guys if you're going to buy these and you're going to fish them just like they are. They did do a good, good uh, glue job. This wood is hard. It's not like a foam or cork. You can just peel it off, get down the glue, and scrape it off. You almost, you, what I have to do is I take my Dremel cutoff wheel. Whoa, look out, guys. Is it storming where you're at? Just a Dremel cutoff wheel. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut a line. The trick is, first of all, don't cut into that. Second of all, don't cut into the uh, blank. So you just got to cut down and kind of use your own judgment on how far you're cutting. And then what I found is I've been lucky. This wood does split just like almost any wood, right? If I put this on like you would split in a log or something, you know, don't knock it down. You just let it slide in in the cut you made, and then you twist it. And it is, breaks off. Uh, hopefully you break off big chunks. But if it breaks off little chunks, you may have to turn, and I'll do the same thing until I get the wood all the way down at least enough to where then I can scrape it with a knife or something 
and get it all the way off. It's it's a process. The if you guys remember right, the uh, CU double was way easier. I've already got it stripped down, but I'm going to do these, and then this one will be way easier too. I've decided I was debating about leaving it, not messing with it, but. I think to make me really like it, because I do like the fact it's one of the only ones it is long enough, but it's foam. I'm not an EVA foam fan. It feels fine, but it doesn't feel like cork. I love this soft touch grip. I like that. So I think I'm just going to do it. I got already got a handle, so I might as well just do it, right? And I, don't, I do not like this right here. I actually, I like that exact style, but I want it directly underneath the reel, on the bottom of the reel seat right there is where I want it. So I'll probably move it. Uh, take that off put the cork handle on but this one's real simple you'll just basically you could do it a couple ways now I'm gonna tell somebody to use pliers and they're gonna crimp on the whole thing and, and crush the blank you do not do that if you want to do pliers I'd suggest first of all doing taking your exacto knife and just making kind of cutting a spot and then you actually pinch on the side with like pliers and usually you'll just peel that foam right off you gotta be you know don't put on a set of channel locks and then crimp like this trying to crush the foam because you're going to crush the blank too it's kind of hard to explain it's it's easy once you've done it but if you haven't done it it can be a little difficult so i'm not going to do it right this moment but basically strip that down then these usually they'll move sometimes you may have to dremel them and the trick there is you just uh and usually when you're stripping these and if they've got good glue, there's no saving any of this stuff. Like you can't disassemble one of these and put it back together. You're going to have to destroy this stuff you're taking off to get it off. Except right here, I'll be able to cut into that, unwrap and save that, and then rewrap it up here. So I'll probably just use that one since it matches right. already says 13 fishing. I think it says 13 fishing right on it. It says something. I can't read it. I'm getting old. But uh, sometimes you'll cut, if you cut down on the metal, same thing, just cut down, do not cut into the blank. And usually on aluminum, if you get it as you're cutting, it'll almost get this aluminum hot enough, it frees up the uh, glue. And so that'll let that come off. A lot of times you don't even have to actually cut all the way through. You just cut down, it gets it hot, and then the glue like unbinds. So anyway. Be looking forward to that. I don't know how much of a video I'll put together showing that on the taking it apart or the gluing it all back together. That's another process that I'm already 30 some minutes in that I guess I could show you while I'm sitting here with this rod. Just in case you all want to have it all in one video of what I plan on doing. So there's a CU double with the handle already on it, right? No, nope, I haven't glued it on yet. So we've got a big hole little shaft i mean you guys know the story about that anyway what you got to do you got to take your tape now you can use different tape a lot of guys tell you you can't put that much tape on because it's going to weaken it this is a little light rod so ultra light and light so it probably won't be a big deal but i basically will would start a wrap right here wrap it around as many times as you need to because you can always take a little tape off until uh that just you know kind of fits kind of snug over the tape and it holds it right so then what i'd recommend is putting one like right there and then skipping leaving a little room going another one a little room go another one so you probably want about four right here you want one right about at the end or actually yeah right at the end so one two three four actually five probably five is what i'll have on here just different wraps building this up now you could also do if you remember i talked about it in another video you could take, when you have that big of a gap, you could actually take a whole nother old chunk of blank if you have them laying around like I do here. And I could put that on first, then it would leave me less tape to put on, which would overall make for a stout deal. But what you really want to do is you're kind of putting the tape on just to hold it. You'd almost want to fill those gaps in between with glue, which would be hard to do when we're doing a gap like this far. You know, because ideally a rod builder, he's taking, whether it be foam, or whether it be corks and he's he's making the holes just big enough to fit on here and then gluing them on to where there's no need for the tape but we're not doing that right so that's what I'll do with all those and worst case scenario you goof up and your glue goes bad like I think happened on the if you guys remember the feeling the magnet the 
these weights started bouncing around internally I had to disassemble it and they were all not even hardly glued these two are still glued together and now uh, they just popped off but I don't know what happened with the glue either I didn't put enough but I think the glue just was bad so I gotta yeah I gotta make sure I, I get it right this time on the on all of them right but this is going to make for a very uh, nice, well, better looking setup than the original CU Double. I still don't really like that reel. So I've, just built it, I've been debating about cutting it off and ordering one. I'll be honest, I've been debating about a lot of different things on this. I love the feel of the rod. I never have liked anything about the handle on it. But it was, you know, it was cheap enough, right? If the DMX rod wasn't so long on the handle, I would think about buying another one just to stick, just to cut the handle off and put on this thing. All right, I'm out of here. I gotta go. I gotta go to the gym. Pre-workout's kicking in. If you guys got any questions, uh, wanna know where to get some, uh, go look up Tactical Bass, and they got it all listed down below in the descriptions. But no, seriously, uh, just. All you got to do is put in that name right there. You'll find these, but just chatterbaits. And you want to look for the ones that look like what the jackhammers, you know, the evergreen Z-Man jackhammers, the ones that look like them with the eyes. You want to make sure that it looks like that uh, blade is going to hit the heads. Those pointed head ones, you don't, I don't recommend those. You want these. And there's a couple different places to get them. I've linked them before in the other, I think the other unboxing I did on the Jackie hammers or on the, you know, AliExpress chatterbaits, you can see the different uh, videos I've got out on them, using them, whatever. If you're just now first time tuning in and wanting to know about these. Awesome baits. They're only $3.50 a piece. You cannot beat these baits. They've held up. This one right here, this exact bait, and see how you want the head to hit. And see how it's already knocked the paint off, which is just fine. Let me get that to focus. On both sides and that's from that blade just ch -ch 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 -ch. and when it chatters and does that I think that little extra there is what makes these baits the jackhammers the z-man originals the ones that are like this I think even the thunder cricket and a lot of them you know work a touch better than the other ones the only other one I recommend that does not do this if you guys follow the channel you know the one i'm talking about You're, everybody's gonna go i know the omega custom tackle rapture jig right my favorite color is shell cracker yeah but that one has like a little ball bearing swivel that brings that blade out but that does do like a more of a hunting action doesn't isn't gonna have the exact same i think underwater thumping sound but it actually feels like it vibrates harder and charles found that out on his too he's got some casking ones or something blade does not touch he likes those i still i'm, I'm not gonna be getting any anytime soon I don't even know where you can get them at. So anyway, there, we've wrapped it all up. No more questions. I've answered every question that is known in the world, right? Get out, go bass and bonsai, pick you up the zillion. I'm still debating on what new reel to get, or if any, just stick with what I got. I got I've got enough combos to fish any different size bait that I own. Whoa, own. So I do have to pick up another chartreuse half ounce chatterbait. I do not have anything that bright. I didn't, I took those ones out. You guys saw me go through my box. I didn't get rid of any of those. I only had the one and I lost it this weekend. So I got to pick one of those up. I kind of looked on, a, I think it's just a half ounce rattle trap. And I, I don't know, tactical, uh, tactical, tackle warehouse. Uh, their rattle traps seem expensive to me. Maybe they're not like $7 and something, but I found some, you know me, AliExpress. I'm probably getting ready to order some chatter or some, uh, rattle traps. I found, uh, I want to say five or six that are dollar something and three or four and so for like 15 bucks i can get a bunch of rattle traps so basically the cost of two cheap ones coming from tech tackle warehouse i can have several and i know i just went to my tackle box but i may go ahead and order some of those we'll try out those try those colors in those brands and that'll be another video coming up some point in time because if i order them now it probably won't be till midsummer until they come in but I may go ahead and do that, and uh, we'll just deal with the chatter, or the chat. I keep saying chatter because I'm sitting here staring at them. We'll keep dealing with the rattle traps I have at the moment, because I do have a couple white ones, the Toledo Gold, a uh, couple, uh, I guess I could just paint one of the old, the off-color ones I've got, uh, Chartreuse, right? 
All right, guys, get out. Go buy some bonsai. Whatever you do, make sure you have fun doing it. I'm going to the gym. Sometimes the gym's fun. Sometimes it's not. What will it be today? I have no idea.